The New South Wales Director of Public Prosecutions has withdrawn charges of perverting the course of justice against a senior member of the Church of Scientology. In allegations first raised on Late Line, Jan Eastgate was accused of telling an 11-year-old girl to lie to police about the sexual abuse she suffered at the hands of her stepfather. The New South Wales DPP says there's not enough evidence for a reasonable prospect of conviction. Carmen Rayner, who made the initial allegations, has told Late Line the the office of the DPP told her they charged Jan Eastgate with a crime that did not exist at the time of the alleged offences. Steve Kinane reports. Carmen Rayner was raised in a Scientology family. Between 8 and 11, she was abused by her stepfather, Robert Alexander Kerr. In allegations first aired on Lateline, Carmen Rayner said the prominent Scientologist Jan Eastgate told her to lie to police and community services workers about the sexual abuse. Just say no. That she just kept repeating that. Just you remember that you can't tell them, don't say yes, because otherwise you will be taken away from your parents um, and you'll never see your family again um, because docs will take me and my brother away from my mum and that I needed to just say no. Carmen Rayner's allegations were backed by her mother. She came with us to the interview and she basically told me what to say and Carmen what to say. And she also told Carmen to lie to the police and I lied to the police as well because of that. Jan Eastgate is the international head of the Citizens Commission on Human Rights, an organisation founded by the Church of Scientology to campaign against psychiatry. Jan Eastgate has refused to talk to Lateline. She has consistently denied Carmen Rayner's allegations, describing them as egregiously false. In May last year, she was arrested and charged with perverting the course of justice. Two months ago, she was charged with another related offence. She was due to face court again next month. But today, the New South Wales Director of Public Prosecutions announced they were withdrawing charges against Jan Eastgate, saying there was no reasonable prospect of a conviction. I just was shocked. I didn't know what to think. I didn't know what to say. I said nothing. In 2010, Senator Nick Xenophon went to the police station with Carmen Rayner to make a statement about this matter. This is just an extraordinary turn of events. The matters are before the courts for a number of months. A second set of charges are laid just a few weeks ago and then suddenly it's all abandoned. Carmen Rayner deserves an explanation from the DPP in relation to this uh, because she has been understandably left devastated by what has occurred. The office of the DPP would not give specific reasons as to why the charges were withdrawn. Carmen Rayner says she was told by a DPP lawyer there was not a law against perverting the course of justice in 1985. The reason that she gave me was that in the, the charges that they've given her are the wrong charges and that was because they've charged her with the new law instead of the old law. It happened in 1985, the new law came in in 1990. Carmen Rayner also says the DPP's office told her that it didn't help her case that the New South Wales Police could not find the officers who took her original statement. In a statement released today, Jan Eastgate said... I have always maintained my innocence, having had an exemplary career for more than 30 years dedicated to serving the community and families, as well as championing human rights. This outcome means I can concentrate on my work to assist people in need of help both in Australia and overseas through the Citizens Commission on Human Rights, a group that investigates psychiatric, pharmaceutical conflicts of interest and human rights abuse. Overseas through the CCHR, a group that investigates psychiatric... When I read Jan Eastgate's statement to Carmen Rayner, she broke down. Sorry. I'm worried that now people are going to think that it's OK to t tell children to lie to the police, that, it, that people can get away with sexual abu sexually abusing children. Jan Eastgate says she will continue her work with the CCHR. Steve Kinane, Late Line.